Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome to more Crusader Kings 3, or perhaps more accurately, to Elder Kings 2. This is a total overhaul mod for CK3 based in the Elder Scrolls universe, and I have been told that it is without a doubt the best CK3 mod that exists to date. We'll find out. I mean, considering it's based in such a phenomenal franchise, how could I possibly resist the urge? Let's jump into a game. Now, I was talking to Angle about this mod because he's kind of a big fan of this. And he was saying there's a lot of really cool people you could play as. But if you want to have a really fun, zany first run, the best person to play as, without a doubt, is going to be Lord Manamarco. Those of you who know a lot about the Elder Scrolls universe might know who this character is. He's kind of one of the big baddies of the world, um, an old mermage who uh, goes necromancer and eventually I think turns into a lich. First appeared in, what was it, Daggerfall? I think that's right, that's the second game, that was before my time. My first Elder Scrolls game was Morrowind. Appears in Oblivion and I know he's also a prominent character in the main story from Elder Scrolls Online as well. So pretty darn cool, but the point is, we should be able to play as uh, an almost immortal necromancer who raises huge armies of undead and Deidre to conquer all over the world. I will become a blot across Tamri and I am all about that. All right, so let's see what we've got with Mr. Lord Manamarco, the King of Worms, founder of the Order of the Black Worm, which is basically a group of outcast dark mages. Kind of prominent in a lot of the different stories, but anyway, all right, so decent-ish stats. I mean, not as good in some things as I would like, like Intrigue, but overall pretty decent. 11, 18, 13, 9, and 35 learning seems a bit excessive, I'm not gonna lie, but that should result in a lot of piety, which is gonna be good for some stuff eventually. Not so good in prowess, but pretty darn good in something called Arcana, or Arcana, however you prefer to pronounce that. Okay, and there's magical perks. Ooh, I'm looking forward to messing with those. We are ambitious, callous, arrogant, and patient. That sounds about right. Let's see, Mastermind Philosopher, Whole of Body, a Scholar, Irritable, Necromancer, Heresiarch, okay, so we are the leader of a local heresetical sect, uh, Genius Acute, Master Mage, born under the birth sign of the Mage, and Lifespan 6, I can live up to a thousand years. Booyah, all right. And on top of this, we should be able to also do some fun things like, I don't know, cast spells? So if I right click here and go to open spell book, sure enough, let's take a quick look. Oh yes. Oh yes, I have magic. I've got magic. This is gonna be really fun. Okay, we gotta start with some of the basics though. Let's take a look at the lifestyle. So we had diplomacy, martial stewardship, intrigue, and learning, all the normal stuff there. And we did start off with quite a lot under learning lifestyle. I would have preferred theologian over whole of body, but that's probably fine. But there's also magical arts. Hello. So we are starting off as a master conjurer. Makes sense. We summon the undead and Daedra and so on. Master of destruction, master alteration. Not very good at illusion spells. That's good to know. We'll have to deal with this at some point. And some restoration magic. Not bad overall. Not bad at all. Um, I think for fun, we go ahead and pick up a focus that makes sense here. Let's go for a little bit of intrigue and stuff with practical magic focus. I want to get more spells. Spells are cool. Now down here on the left, you see we have something called Magicka, which at the moment is generating at 3.9 or so on its own. Probably can boost that up a little bit as time goes on. But as we gain Magicka, I'll be able to cast spells of my own, including some of those summoning spells. Uh, for Dynasties, looks like we have at least a couple of new things. I'm tempted to go for Ominous Reputation for the Natural Dread, but I mean, if there's Magicka, how could I say no? Let's see. Oh, 20% extra magic regeneration. Yes, yes, that is a no-brainer. Magical drills. Bigger mage regiments, and apparently they can do extra siege progress, not to match in their pretty good. Okay. You know, for fun, let's go ahead and pick up the new stuff. I like new stuff. That's gonna be great. We've got that all picked up. No heir. Yes, I have no children. I has no spouse. We could find a spouse. Um, but I also don't feel like I need to, honestly. I'm freaking Mana Marco. How's my Okay, this is not exactly what I would call a very, very good. Uh, council. So let's go ahead and swap at least a couple of people here who would make some more sense. Okay, we'll leave that alone for the moment. So I'm gonna build up some magic, huh? What else we got over here, though? I've got things like the Worm Cult. Okay, so this is the religion that uh, I founded. It's not really a religion per se, but you get the idea. Daedric Bargains. Uh-huh. Mastery over Undeath. Become a Lich. Ooh. And also Pursuit of Power, plus a lot of different doctrines. It looks like we're pretty forgiven of all things. Um, all things are equal in the eyes of death. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And then there's a bunch of different uh, cultures and stuff as well. Very cool. Let's zoom out real quick and take a look at the map. Because, I mean, obviously, good lord, there's a lot of detail in this. So you guys are familiar with a lot of this stuff. There's Skyrim up over there. And those of you guys who are like big Skyrim stands, right? That's the only Elder Scrolls game you played. I don't think that Manamarco ever came up in that game. If I could 
if I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure not. So you may have no idea who this is, but you really should. There's Cyrodiil, there's Morrowind. Can we zoom in on Mar? Ooh, the city. Oh, dude, look at this. Ah, oh, that's sick. That looks good, actually. Sweet, dude. Where's the Imperial City? Hang on, Cyrodiil, blah, 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 blah. Oh, look at this. Look at the white gold tower. That's awesome. It's actually broken up into different districts, too. Dude. All right, this map's awesome. I'm not going to lie. This map, map is freaking awesome. But we're in Hammerfell to start us off, and we need to get ourselves a duchy. Well, I think we start by conquering Raniza. Where's a neighbor I can bully? Hello, Mr. Neighbor I can bully. How strong am I, out of curiosity? I have more troops than you. That means we are going to bully. And by bully, I mean I'm going to kill. All right, let's go ahead and declare our first of many, many, many wars. I am going to absolutely destroy everything in sight. We do need to make sure we summon, though, a lot of Daedra at some point. That is a thing that we can do and definitely should do. Um, if we take a look at some of our specific spells, I just kind of glanced through it, but let's actually take a look here. So we can summon things like a familiar, get a scamp, Okay, improve some of my stats for 20 years. Summon a Daedra, Flame Atronach. Okay, that's also pretty good. Banish the Daedra on me. Okay, summon a Dramora, who comes from Oblivion, which is basically like the, the Daedric Hellscape. It's the Hell Dimension. To serve me for five years. I think it's a character, that's cool. And then summon Daedric Armies. Ooh, and they're pretty good heavy infantry. Sick, dude. Sick. All right, what else we got? Destruction, we can destroy walls and stuff. Weakness to disease, alteration, dispel, blah, blah, blah. Illusion spells, restoration, necromancy, raise the dead. Heck yes. Heck yes. There's also something here called rituals. I don't know what this is. Hold on. We can spend some of our magic a generation to get things. Oh, wait. I didn't know if I want this. Hang on. Bound weapon. Prowess goes up. Oh. Oh. Interesting, okay. I, I wish it told me what these did up front because that'd be helpful. Feather? Illusion? Rally? Fortify Diplomacy and other skills? Okay. Fascinating. So yeah, if we want to spend some of our magic generation, we can actually boost up our stats. Good to know. That's pretty cool, actually. Anyway, that war should be done. Let's go ahead and force demands. Goodbye. All right. And what's going on here? We are being raided. I'm not strong enough to stop you. You've got a thousand men. That's just rude. All right, well, we're going to get raided. Thanks for that. Okay. Uh, my courtiers were killed. Mana Marco cares not. Mana Marco cares not at all. All right, let's go ahead and disband these troops. We don't need any of these guys. We got at least a little bit more territory. That's good. Then let's go ahead and just keep that going over here, I guess. Conquer this county as well. Yes, raise the armies. Mana Marco demands more bodies for the pile so that we can summon them all as undead corpses. It shall be great. There we go. Crush that. You lost a few hundred men. That's good. All right, we like that. We like that. We want to weaken everyone around us, but if I can at least usurp a duchy title, that's going to feel a little bit better. And, of course, we should always be trying to do a little bit of ransom action if we can. 34 gold is not much. You're not worth anything. We can execute you, and apparently, because we are evil and hostile, uh, we can actually burn you at the stake. That seems appropriate. Mana Marco does have a tendency to execute people in terrible rituals. Okay, let's go ahead and actually... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and enforce demands. Why actually fight these last little guys? I was thinking we could just go ahead and capture their leader, but we don't need to worry about that. All right, excellent. So that's three titles under my control. I need to actually regain some of my men. Let's go to our council and make sure we actually try to get a bit of control, though, real quick. Because, oh lordy, we do not have much control here at all. That's going to be a problem. Can we convert the faith to the worm cult? I think we're going to try. Seems like a good idea. And then foreign affairs, how about we swap that over to... I guess foreign affairs is okay. I was going to say we could do domestic affairs, but this is all right. Yeah, and then we have a faction. Bandit camps are rising up against me. Probably because I don't have any control. Okay, we'll sit back for a second and generate some magicka and just enjoy the free land that I took. But we're well on our way. And yes, there are indeed bandits. All right, I will never surrender to the bandits. No banditos. We will summon forth the armies. And if I need to get some freaking skeletons, I shall do so. Come over here and die. Thank you. All right. And goodbye. Something we actually should check are my knights, because I'm pretty sure we have something special called Battle Reeves. Let's take a look at the military. Yes, Battle Reeves over here. Uh, we do not have very many, and most of them suck. All right. We're going to go ahead and buy you out, because the more uh, Battle Reeves and knights you have, generally speaking, the better. But these are atrociously bad. I am unimpressed. Okay. Um, we need to get better ones, and summoning some Dramora may be a good option for us. The Ring of Rivalry. Wait a minute. Ven Venice Galarian? Yes, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm rivals with Venice Galarian! <laughs> yes. 
Uh, if you know anything about the lore, this is really appropriate. While perusing some enchanting tomes, I find an interesting little enchantment. It involves producing an illusory yet irritating sound only heard by the wearer of the artifact, deafening them. Immediately, that coxcomb vanis comes to mind. Producing a little ring bearing that particular enchantment could be somewhat expensive, but how I would revel in his misery. Oh my gosh, we could spend 50 gold to just make a really annoying ring. I mean, I shouldn't go into debt over this, but I'm totally going to. That's freaking hilarious. And our counselor died. Ah, good. Okay, well, um, we'll get someone who's not very good. Mm-hmm, that's fine, I guess. Let's increase control in some of these other counties. I want to make sure that we don't have a lot of rebellions, so I can keep fighting. I guess I could also consider getting married or something like that. I guess this is all right. Sure, why not? I mean, it's a little hilarious to me, though. And now she's bald now, okay. It's a little hilarious to me that the age of all of the elves that I'm able to marry is like 20-something, whereas I'm 617 years old. By high elf standards, I'm practically marrying a baby. I mean, I know I'm a villain, but I didn't think I was that bad. We can get ourselves another perk. What do we want? I don't know what these spells do is the thing, so I don't know how good they are. Mend wounds. Let's go for Expert Destruction. I think it would make some sense to be able to do Firestorm. And then we can go for Weakness to Weapons. Don't know what any of that means. Presumably it is some form of ritual. And it looks like um, our Diplomat is already peeping some people off. Well, thanks for that. Let's go ahead and cast some spells and see if we can summon some things. I need some Daedric Armies. So it's 100 Magicka. Though it looks like we can get better versions? Hold on. Okay, yeah, we can spend 190 to get 200 Daedra instead. So, like, larger retinues. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. So, 200. Let's go ahead and take... Ugh, dang it. Let's take a look here at my military. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So, I've got special soldiers here. 200 men-at-arms Daedra. Nice, okay. That's just free. If I can keep doing this indefinitely, we can have huge armies. I love it. Aeonis approaches me with a grave face and, uh, and before I can ask anything, tells me he woke up to find out he had been robbed. I mean, I don't know why I should care. Um, I am going to lose opinion of you because you're an idiot and I gain prestige, which means I can declare more wars. And that's a good thing. Vanis has become a constant scourge in my life. Always demands all the attention in every event, making everyone listen to him blather for hours on end. And as if that weren't bad enough, he seems to take every opportunity to barb me while he does it. Curse you, Vanis! Vanna Marco just is tired of living in Vanus's shadow, okay? He doesn't like that that guy's more popular than him. What anyone think of poor Vanna Marco? Oh, you stupid peasants. Right, rally the troops, kill the peasants. What do you mean? Oh, for God's sake, they're stopping me from raising this stuff. Hang on. Move the flag over there. There we go. Raise up the Daedra. And apparently there are also some banditos. Good. No, this is great. You know, if there's anything I love, it's just having a million freaking rebels right at the beginning of the game. I'm kind of surprised at how strong all of my neighbors are, though, for real. Um, everyone nearby is stronger than me. Which won't last forever. Once I start getting myself a whole load more undead and such, you get the idea. But, like, yeah, that's not great. Okay. Well, at least I've got another perk. Let's go for the Master of Destruction. Why not? We'll just finish that sucker out. Seems good. Too few spouses. Hmm. We can get a court mage. Ah, wait a minute. Okay. So if I recall correctly, this is supposed to work where I can use their magicka to cast spells on my behalf, presumably to get more undead. So we should definitely have a strong magicka character. Um, you, 11, 12, 13. Seems like my chancellor is my best choice. Um, that said, I don't know if the learning skill matters at all. It's not a huge difference. Let's go ahead and pick up my marshal and let him have that role. Yes, I gotta pay a salary, but honestly, I think that's worth it if I can get some extra spell casting. Speaking of which, do we want to summon some more Daedra, or do we want to go for some Necromancy? And cast... I got some big error messages. That's fun. Ooh, I can cast 500 extra for 120 magic. Yes. Do that. So just like before, yep, that's a bunch of extra men for me. Oh, beautimous. All right, now we find ourselves with some people. Good. And this guy over in Helra just got um, attacked. So we're going to go ahead and do something here. You got raided, so I know you're not very strong. We'll raise up all of my troops and send forth the legions of the damned. We shall kill you all. Do I have any better commanders by any chance, by the way? No, not really, I am the best. Okay, I don't feel like I should be the best. I'm not exactly that kind of a character. Fallen consort. Okay, um, apparently, <laughs> I am free, yay! My wife is dead, what? <laughs> I told you Mana Marco didn't want, to get, didn't want to get married. Oh, that sucks. Did I get wounded? I got wounded, are you kidding me? Right, we need to get a restoration spell. I'm pretty sure I can heal that wound in no time flat. 
That's just annoying. Gosh dang it. And now I gotta go get married again. Ugh, fine. Let's see, what's this? The partition of Skyrim. After the death of High Lord Logrolf, Skyrim was broken into two halves. Oh, right. There's like Western and Eastern, right? Yes, there is. Western and Eastern Skyrim over here. Okay. And let's see. Blah, blah, blah. They were... Okay. So they've acknowledged who's king and who's not. High King Ormvard is eight years old. Right. Definitely a proper king. Okay. Well, I hope to see this all descend into chaos pretty soon. And actually, it looks like Cyrodiil should be at war too. They're in the middle of some big thing. That makes sense. So we end that war. I gotta take that sucker over. Let's go ahead and... Oh, wait. I'm being raided again. Nope, there's a holy war. Hold on. Someone attacked me. Right. Um, okay. Guess what that means? It means we need to declare a lot more undead, and we need it fast. Um, how many more undead can I get? We can get probably a lot. Sure, that'll work. Another 500 or so men over there in Thunder Falls. We get you all together. Come on, actually... Why these guys sometimes want to be playing hard to get, I don't know. Let's see if we can run in here and actually take over their terror. Actually, let's see if we can just kill them. If I can catch and kill them, that's even better, right? Yeah, 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 let's just route these guys. Perfect, all right, perfect, perfect, perfect. If we can take this over, um, that would be a really good opportunity to weaken these guys so I can take over the rest of the dudgy, and then maybe hand that off to, like, one of my Dramora in the future or something, I don't know. Journeyman Restoration, that's what I want, and can I cast a healing spell on myself already? Indeed I can. All right, make my infections go away, and I am no longer wounded, huzzah. If Meta Marco dies, I mean, I'm pretty sure that it's, like, just straight out over. So, that would be bad. And that'll do the job, enforce the demands. We didn't get anything out of the arrangement, but we did make these guys weak. That's fine. I do not have a lot of characters for my council, apparently. Well, that's going to become a problem. I'm out of characters entirely. Right. Demons and the undead shall become my only friends. What is this? Besides the usual familiar servants bound weapons and comparable boons, there are greater treasures even available to those few who have mastered the arcane to a frightening degree, such as I. These are tempting prizes, blah, blah, blah. A demi-prince, a fa powerful fickle being scion to one of the Daedric princes themselves, like Molag Bal, perhaps? Lose some magicka, lose some money, 99% chance I successfully step into the demi-prince's plane. Makes sense. I mean, didn't Metamarco start what was called, like, the plane meld or something like that? So that'd be interesting. My consciousness explores one of the demi-planes while I remain cautiously rooted in the conjurer's chambers back home. Hostile gazes pierce me from everywhere. Navigating this place is equal parts intuitive and esoteric. And it is only through extreme concentration and familiarity with the liminal bridges that I can remain here as long as I have. Let's see. Still, I cannot find the demi-prince. I find him. Okay. They found me. Sorry. 50% chance that I get a Markinaz servant, or 50% chance of nothing happening. It just says, okay, obtain wealth or whatever. Or, or, 50% chance I gain 10 skill. Secret of the Princes. What does that do? Hold on. Learning plus 10? Frick me. Let's give it a shot. Something goes wrong, dang it. All right, 39 stress. Feel them clinging to my mind. Um, I'm not at level one stress, so I'm surprised we're getting some sort of a stress event already. With the help of the Lady of Infinite Energies, I will destroy my something. I don't know what. Stress for eight years, you may suffer a mental break. Or leave me alone, demons. What does Worshipper of Meridia do? Known to commune with the Lady of Infinite Energies. I guess we give it a shot, but I don't know exactly what that is good for. All right. News from the Imperial Province. The warlord Atrebus, who was just leading a rebellion against uh, the potent potentate of Cyrodiil, has just died. Oh, okay. So the Empire is broken into smither frickin' reens. Look at that. Okay. Well, well, well. That's gonna be a juicy pickings for me now, ain't it? <laughs> Another spell hath been unlocked. Um, mass paralysis, lift curse, cure disease, mass hysteria, blah, blah, blah. I don't know really what I want here, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, I guess we'll go down alteration. Uh, I can see that being pretty good for us. At some point, though, it might be worth just, like, getting out of this for a second. Maybe we should just go ahead and try going down. Is there a new thing here? Plunderer, that seems new. Hold on. Uh, it may be worth trying to go for some dread or something, just to kind of keep things under control, you know what I mean? Go down Overseer. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the Authority Focus so we can have a better time controlling the land that I conquer. Otherwise, this is just going to get really, really difficult and tedious. My wife is apparently pregnant. 
All right, Man America was gonna have a kid. Um, didn't expect that. I was pretty sure that with our lifespan, our fertility should be more or less gone by now, but okay. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. What kind of decisions do we have in the game, by the way? I'm just curious on this. Invite Battle Reeves, blah, blah, blah. Celibacy, abstain from elections, lash out at people? That's hilarious. Insult random vassals, and that's interesting. Okay. Um, become a lich. Well, now, I can see that's being pretty good. I just need to get a little bit more devoted into the religion that I created. How much more devoted can I be? Well, I do think I want to take over this person's uh, duchy if we can. Uh, or at least just kind of whittle them away one way or another. Yeah, there we go. Um, anyone else going to join? Doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and declare a holy war for the duchy. And I did summon up a few more of my undead, so we got at least a couple thousand to work with now. It does look like, unlike your uh, levies and stuff, these do not regenerate. So, once the Daedra and the Risen Dead start dying off, or getting killed in combat, you have to keep summoning them. So I'm gonna be using my Magicka, just summoning things, like, pretty much non-stop. Gosh dang it, bandits? Right, alright, hang on, we'll go deal with them first. That's right, more bodies for the pile, I guess. They're coming into my territory, which should be really good for me. Nope, if you want to just hang out over here, that's fine then. I'm just gonna- just gonna take your stuff. There's my son! Hinamo! Sure, why not? I mean, we're probably gonna outlive our own kid. Does our kid start with lifestyle or lifespan 6? No. Life expectancy 400. Odds are pretty. ooh, genius though. Odds are pretty good that my kid is going to die, um, <laughs> before I do. But, you know, that's fine. Especially if I become a lich, then I become immortal. Alright, let's go ahead and kill these fools. Got you, we captured some folks. Anyone that we can sell? Nope, you're worth nothing. What about you? Ten gold? Not much. The rest get burned at the stake! Thank you for the free piety. I will use this to declare many a grand war. And that should be it. We'll go ahead and enforce those demands. Thanking you. Bye 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 All right, that's now too much land for me. How much magicka I got? Enough that we should be able, I think, to summon a Dramora. Yes, for five years. All right, we got Rukhan Jabron. Um, not exactly a very good character, but it is a way of creating more people, so I mean like, okay, not to mention, more prowess means I can do stuff with them, I guess. I don't know, we'll give them some territory. I still haven't created my own duchy title, by the way, which I think is a little bit hilarious. Oh, there we go! Now I am, in fact, a devoted servant. So, becoming a lich, uh, we don't have the money for it, but what would it- what would it do, actually? We lose the lifespan trait because I think I become- yeah, I lose all aging modifiers, I'm immortal. No more children allowed, more dread. Uh, easier to gain stress, apparently. Lose a lot of piety and prestige, but get a bit more arcana, and then also have more piety. Um, honestly, I don't know. Doesn't seem that important or good. Not bad, but like, not that important or good. Um, so let's see. I want to conquer the rest of the Kingdom of Dragon Tail. Conquering a kingdom is a very good start. I don't really care if I conquer the entire Empire of Hammerfell. I'd actually rather make my way down towards Cyrodiil and see if we can take over the Imperial City, but, um... We need a power base, and for that, I need to have probably an entire kingdom or two under my control. That would be nice. Well, that ended up being a lot more painful than it needed to be. Good lord. A level 9 fort or something, it turns out, is really, really hard to deal with. But, Dragonstar has a lot of stuff going for it. Got some special arena buildings, a bailiff's office, a small hill fort, hunter's lodges, blah, blah, blah. All this is pretty good. Not bad. It's just, you know, filled with Nords. <laughs> We're gonna have to fix that. Get rid of all of the Nords. They scare me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I do think I'd like to get myself some retinue since we've had a hard time sieging some stuff down quickly. These Somerset Justice, uh, just, not Justicars, Justiciars? They're kind of spelled weird. Are, uh, really strong. Um, War Mages, on the other hand, are the closest thing I'm gonna get to any actual siege. Plus, they do some pretty decent damage and have a decent pursuit value. So, I think we go ahead and start creating some Mage retinues. The culture has entered the early interregnum era. Oh, okay, so we get some new innovations coming down the pipe. Um, I don't really know, having I mean, Altmer language and heritage, Altmer language, blah, blah, blah. There we go, innovations. Okay, so a bunch of new stuff is apparently available. We're not quite done learning about things like barracks or battering rams or mustering grounds and stuff. Yeah, but that's fine. We're just a little bit behind the time. Mana Marco has been busy, okay? A Deidre Lord is inviting me to come and uh, have a feast with him. I can only imagine how, like, awful and raunchy the revelry of the Deidre would be in my court. That is hilarious. Uh, although apparently I'm sad and stressed out. Well, this was a mistake. Now I'm melancholic. Oh, gosh dang it. And war has been declared on me by someone who is 
a lot stronger than me. Holy crud. <laughs> right. 7,000 men, huh? From all your allies and stuff, huh? Over Skaven. You mean um, this little duchy down here that I don't actually care about, that I just sort of took on a whim? Yeah, okay. Uh, I think I think this one, weirdly enough, I just go ahead and give. Yeah, you can you can have this one. Take it. I don't care. I don't care about that province. Enjoy. I'll kill you later, all right? I will. Once I'm king, I'll kill you later. Which, actually, now that I think about it, is there any reason I can't be king right now? I don't think so. 175 gold, create the title. Yes, please. All right. And now I have a court. What an amazingly silly hat. What is wrong with you? It's fine, though. We now have a royal court that I have to worry about. That's great. I mean, it doesn't exactly look like outstanding or anything, but I mean, I, I, mm, I guess I'll take it. And we can toss in some artifacts. I got myself a couple little banners. Sure, why not? This will give me a bit of extra prestige and stuff. The downside is now I have to, like, you know, actually pay to, like, keep my prestige up and stuff. Appearances and all that, am I right? Blech. Oh, weird. You can actually change your language. Almeris native language is apparently a very good grandeur bonus, but there's different languages we could speak instead? Interesting, okay. Oh, wait, I don't like that we have dragon tails. Are... Is there a way for me to change this? I know that there is, I just don't remember how to do it, but we'll worry about some of that later. All right, so now I'm a king, I can start having some ducal vassals. That should make things a smidge easier in some ways. Especially if what I end up doing is constantly spending my magicka summoning more Dremora. Letting them be my dukes for a few years, and then we just like keep cycling them out so they're permanently loyal. I'll never have to worry about any rebellions like that again, that'd be amazing. Either way, I think this might be a pretty decent place for us to stop here, so we've lost one war down here, it got kind of weird, we'll have to deal with Haran later on. 2800 troops wouldn't be that bad, it's just holy wars are a bit of an issue for me, but okay. My biggest issue, weirdly enough, is I can't seem to get enough characters to actually stick around and become my proper vassals. Like, I, I have surprisingly few people that I can work with to actually have a strong court. All right, that's fine though. What we're gonna do is just continue working our way down here in this area of Hammerfell. I guess we start working on Elin here as our next kingdom of choice. And with the two of these under control, we can start making a push down into Cyrodiil and the Heartlands. Because I want to take over the Imperial City. Come on, the White Gold Tower must be mine. It's too cool not to, am I right? And besides, that like kind of fits a little bit of what Manamarco did in historical stuff anyway. Kind of the shadow power behind the throne. Y'all know what I mean, right? Anyway, thank y'all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell. And I will see you guys next time.